Yes, I'm David Kimani Modoni, uh, second runners up of Breeze Beyond Boss TV show. Yeah, uh, from, I'm from Nyandarwa, born and I grew up in Nyandarwa, and then I went to, to campus in Kirifi Pond University. The one thing that I, I think that has have, uh, have made be, people to be my fans is uh, I'm always real to myself. I'm, I want to be real. I'm just Kimani, you know, and I'm this kind of person who is, I think, when I was coming, I, I was so naive with the village mind in me. So, and then without fearing how I am, maybe I'm from the village, a bit of my English is like, uh, let me call what the native English is what I speak then people will kind and then I'm, I'm kind of funny when I'm doing some stuff I don't fear I'm just there even if I don't know I express I don't know and then I'm ready to run this has really made some people to feel inspired and to feel that even if you're from somewhere don't feel that you can't currently uh, I've not gotten as such as many or something that uh, is very tangible to say that person who is coming to approach me so that we can do to do work together but that was my passion just to help the less fortunate who maybe probably lacked a first chance or missed a chance in education now what I aim at doing is giving them a second chance to education because for me now all through my life it has been other people coming through so that I get through my education and you see I started school very late in two or three when free education was introduced and now i'm thinking those who are before that before the free education came most of them were very and really wanting and they were capable of having education but now because of the finances and the staff people who came to a background like the one i came from not a not a good, very good background just a humble background from the low income and in family so they've got this problem now that they've grown old they want to get maybe the basic literacy some of them dropped out of school due to some issues others are school fees now i'm giving them a platform where they can now redo their exams get retreat and so that they can be able to be helpful to the economy and be able to make their decisions wise and do something that is going to sustain them for their lives they were just okay yeah, they, they didn't actually understand what was blaze even myself, I didn't. I was not with the concept itself. I, I was just thinking this is something I'm, I'm going to, so that I can actually maybe share my dream with the public, so that anybody else who feels that they can help, they also go out there and help the society. Because it is all about not what you do you as a person, but what is the impact? How impactful are you are are your works to the society? Because I feel if you're not doing something to change your society then I find it not so good. So I was coming to, even myself, I was not, I was not understanding the whole concept about Blaze. Same to my family members. They just thought, Ay, TV show, namnagani, then why school, what? The, there was a lot of questions coming through. But now, after the show, and uh, after getting into the show, several weeks into the show, they now go, started, started seeing what was in. They started valuing what I was going through and then, Everybody now started loving this and they really appreciate now at the moment. The most difficult task uh, or challenge in the, in the show was the first episode where I was now to deal with a uh, town artist. And you know, see, now me coming from uh, somewhere I really didn't even associate with urban music, now you're given a challenge to deal with Timitida. And I'm like, I don't know this person, I don't know the artist. The first thing I went is to Google him, go on YouTube and at least see his face, get what music he does. So you see, I was with all this difficulty now coping up with this and I've got 48 hours and we have to do much. So it was really a trouble for me. Yeah, the easiest one was definitely the Mboga one because now I've been brought up in a, in a shamba, oh, we've been growing these bogas, nyanyas and all that stuff. And then when I came to Nairobi the first time, I was doing the business of selling nyanya and cabbages. And then even when I was growing up, we were selling the same. So this was something that I know, this, something that I relate with and something that just with me, even going to hook the tomatoes, hooking the spinach was something that I was very comfortable with. And, Behind the scenes, all the jar. Yes, especially King Kaka was this Lokamin guy talking to you, just helping you to know how you can handle right from this angle, this, this, and this. And then Judge TK talking with him. And uh, behind, behind the scenes, you see, you will see him not, 
the judge you see on set because now ada behind he'll he'll be telling you how he started off where yani he will tell you about his life and then see into your life how you are and then encourage you and give you some insight on how you can go on yani very awesome they were very good behind the scenes and then caroline was a motivator we became a family by the way we, be, we were very good to each other but now the moment it comes to it comes to agreeing on some issues now that's where you get some uh, some arguments because all of us are from different backgrounds we hold different principles and now the moment we are talking and trying to agree on something each and every one of us has something to say and they want to start by their stance so there was a, a bit of arguments nice moments laughter it was everything from the what I've what I've really changed is my my perception of reality you see sometimes you you'd see some things that you you'd perceive some things that they are impossible you perceive some things that you cannot do them because maybe ah from this I'm from this I'm from this I have this no now the it is just my perception of reality has really changed I know now for you to make it is determination it is not about your situation it is not about how you are currently it is about your determination and passion to do things that the moment you are passionate about something and then you push yourself for it you are definitely going to get it it doesn't matter that you come from town you cannot do something like said in boga uh, that you are from the slum you cannot do something of up town you are from the village you cannot enter into the city the moment you believe in it believing in yourself is what starts and then now you realize in it you will definitely do